with the Rangers Respite. I'm Philip, and this is Drinking Geeks. Hello. It's time for another whiskey review. Um, my room is in the middle of being emptied out and reconfigured, so my camera's in a weird place, which means the frame on this is really awkward. Hopefully soon I will have everything in that direction sorted out and cleared and I'll have a bed and a desk and this won't be an issue. In the meantime, eh, the show will be a little bit weird for a little while. Anyway, uh, it's Whiskey Wednesday which means it's review time and members of the Whiskey Club and Patreons have voted for the next review and with three quarters of the vote, the winner is Fighting Cock 103, which um, for a while I thought was um, an independent bottling essential, or not an independent bottling, but like a, um, uh, you know, a sourced whiskey, but it's actually distilled, aged, and bottled by the Fighting Cock Distilling Company in Bardstown, Kentucky, which is actually pretty cool. And it is, like you might guess from the name, 103 proof, that's 51.5%. I think that's 51.5%. Yeah, 51.5%. I don't know how old this is, uh, they don't say, but it's straight bourbon whiskey and it doesn't have an age statement, which means that it must be more than two years old or no more than is it more than two or more than four years old i can't remember i will have to double check on that and add a note in the video it is a little bit similar to wild turkey 101 in that there's definitely uh, a lot of rye in the mash bill and it's got a similar uh spicy nose with lots of like the the rice spice and barrel influence that come together to make a a, a sort of um, bright spicy uh, slightly funky nose lots of cinnamon and smoke and oak It's a little bit aggressive. Lots of vanilla and butterscotch with a layer of rice spice and cinnamon and funk. Or not really funk, but like that that rye note that's not quite spice, but it's just a little bit funky. The finish is uh, moderately, moderately long and lots of vanilla and cinnamon and, and oak in it. I mean, this is really just lots of like vanilla and spice to it. But you can definitely taste the, the char. I think this is probably aged in heavily charred barrels or, or you know number four char instead of like the number three char um, it might be I don't know there's not a whole lot of information available about this um, but for 20 bucks it's not bad um, if you're looking for a budget whiskey this isn't bad if it's available in your area you might as well try it out right now so you might gather because my flag is still up behind me. It is still Pride Month, and that means time to talk about the LGBTQ community. Some, a little bit anyway. Um, I couldn't decide what to talk about for this video. Part of the reason why it's coming out so late. Um, 
I... I've got lots of, you know, links in the description for places where you can support uh, BLM movement, Black Lives Matter movement, and uh, uh, Black Trans Women, which includes the Marsha P. Johnson Institute. Now, Marsha P. Johnson was uh, one of the leaders at Stonewall. Uh, and in case you've forgotten, Stonewall was a riot led by uh, queer and otherwise tra uh, trans and otherwise queer members of the uh, black and Latino community um, against police violence and brutality against them. So, it's important that we give them the credit they deserve uh, when we talk about how um, the rights we have came to be. Um, so, Marsha P. Johnson, brick throwing badass who you know, continued throughout her life to fight for equality, not just in the LGBTQ community, but for the black community, um, for trans people specifically. Um, there's the Marsha P. Johnson Institute that's named after her for good reason, and she was a badass. Um, there are some great pictures of her at the first official pride, which is cool. Um, but yeah, there will be a link down, a link to her charity in the description down below. Now, got to talk about general related stuff now because it's come to that. First up, uh, I'm going to talk about what I'm going to be reviewing next, which is either Red Borner's Premium Single Barrel South Carolina Whiskey, uh, a gift from my friend Sierra. Baker's single barrel bourbon, which um, is fantastic whiskey. Um, you may have seen it in the episode uh, where I made the Basin Street and used Baker's because why not? Uh, it's because I talked a little bit about Josephine Baker, Basil Hayden's small batch bourbon, which um, I'm adding to the lineup because I, um, was talking to a friend about, uh, Basil Hayden Whiskey and River Blues Bourbon, River Blues New York Bourbon, which again was a gift from my friend Sierra. So, members of the Whiskey Tribe, which, God damn it, members of the Whiskey Club, Although I suppose I could ask members of the Whiskey Tribe to vote. That'd be weird. Um, members of the Whiskey Club and the Patreon can vote on these to decide what I will review next week. To vote, you must be a uh, Patreon member, which you get to vote. You get everything that I produce at least... Well, you get it early. You get it before it goes up publicly. Um, you get access to the Discord channel where we all hang out and talk about whiskey and nerdy things. Um, and some uh, Patreon exclusive content, which is cool and important. Um, and you also can like, request or suggest uh, video topics. So. All right, and um, there will be a link in the description to an Etsy store where you can buy a That's the Spirit sticker, which is a little pot still with a ribbon that says That's the Spirit, which, which was designed for me by my friend Alyssa at Apricot Studios. Um, for $5, you can buy one of those stickers um, and get a handwritten thank you note from me. 
Um, the proceeds from the sale of the stickers will go to getting some better equipment and more stuff to review and etc. and so forth. Okay, I think that that's everything. So, until next time, oh right, I was going to say uh, this Friday I am going to be uh, doing, uh, what was this Friday? This Friday is the, yes, this Friday is uh, the Blue Skies, which is the last, it's going to be the last um, Pride Month video. Um, uh, da, 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 right. Yeah, it's going to be the last Pride Month video. So, until then, stay happy, stay geeks, slancha.